Hello, Infinite Creators. In this video, we will talk to the higher self about ancient technology and how they stored their information. Welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Mariana and I'm a hypnotherapist and I help you dive deep into the powers of your mind to expand your consciousness and achieve self-prosperity. So I want to introduce a new series on this channel where we explore ancient knowledge. So for this video, we'll talk about stored information. Now, I have wondered what are ways ancient cultures could have stored their knowledge. And I'm going to explain why this is so interesting to me. So most people would say through their writings. However, let me switch perspectives for you. Our information is primarily electronic and everything is on the internet. So if our civilization were to suddenly no longer exist and hundreds of years in the future, they discover remains of our existence and this technology that we know today would no longer exist, how would that generation know that there is this whole other frequency and devices like hard drives that all of our knowledge and information is stored on? So my question to the higher self is, do advanced ancient cultures have devices like USB drives? Now, let's see what they have to say. I have a question about ancient knowledge. Um, how did advanced ancient civilizations store their knowledge? Was it solely through consciousness or did they have devices similar to what we have today, like internet or flash drive, something similar or tool? It is a combination because it is a combination. I cannot say too much, but mm -hmm. it is not one or the other. It is, you need both. Mm -hmm. There are certain tools they use to do this, but there, there is a way to do it in the conscious field which is like your backup which is always there it exists it is part of like we say akashic records etc it mm -hmm. is part of what will always exist you cannot lose that it is but there are also tools that are a physical representation at that time and space that can hold the energy and knowledge as well this is the important work sometimes of archaeologists and historians but it, again it depends on intent and intuition to understand it is almost like that attunement you, you talk about when you understand these certain tools and are connected to them. You will know. And are these um, devices that they had either stored in our museums and were not aware of their true potential? And it is a mix of that mm -hmm. as well as natural tools that I talk about. So think sun think it's sometimes we say tools i mean just think something you can touch or mm -hmm. physical but there are other tools that are are there that you may just not assume are a tool so mm -hmm. i cannot say all but you know for example a rock that is something easy to explain a rock can be a tool in this question that you ask it holds energy it holds information it can give you information if you know how to use the rock same with the sun, mm -hmm. same with the wind, same with the elements, but it's also a layer of consciousness. It's also physical objects. It is not one or the other. It is the syn synchronization intention to, to use them in the right way at the right time altogether to understand. And would you say that crystals um, are a part of that tool? Yes. Crystals are a part of that tool. Crystals are extremely powerful, hold energy, hold information, hold healing. But again, there is a technique that cannot be given. It is just understood, which is part of how I say you will know. Some people can hold a crystal and say this is a rock, right? Some people hold the crystal and they understand. That is the, the message that I try to give and understanding how there is technologies that they use but it is also consciousness it's mixed and it just looks different to different people but you know intuitively that you're holding a piece of what you call technology or a tool when you hold it okay very interesting now after watching this you might have more questions and answers 
So stay tuned to my next video where we talk about electric magnetics and the human body. And until next time, Infinite Creators, wishing you all abundance, love, and prosperity.